Chris, you got anything new going on right now? Well, yeah, man, I got a, I got a couple things going on right now. So, mm -hmm. uh, due to COVID, I haven't done much comedy. Not mm -hmm. our last show was uh, February fourteenth, Valentine's. Uh, Brett Forte and I did a show, mm -hmm. uh, sold out Yucks, and it was a great show. Um, Brett, of course, is probably one of the hottest comics in North America right now. Mm -hmm. He's I guarantee you he'll be as big as Russell Peters is as a Canadian comic to come out of it as a Canadian comic. 100%. Like Russell, of course, is globally famous, and I, I think Forte could do the same thing. He's got uh, he He's can got be as talent. he can be as weird and as silly as Mr. Bean. Like oh, yeah. he literally can oh, yeah. be. He's such a Mr. Bean, and you would oh, yeah. he's like a modern day Mr. Bean, but he's also got a ton of bite, mm -hmm. and he's got great humor. And how the guy gets such amazing secret footage mm -hmm. every day in life and all these events. Oh, yeah. This everywhere guy, he everywhere, goes, everywhere he goes, he's like, he goes. madness ensues with this guy. Like, he'll get it. Like, I don't know how he's always with, he's a man of the action. He's yeah. always where the action is, so. Exactly. I but don't he, even know how he pulls it through. Like. He does, yeah. And uh, so Brett's a good friend of mine. Yeah. Uh, I hate him and I love him. Uh, two LaBelles. Uh, two LaBelles. Uh, I discovered him. But I uh, know I love him to bits. And so Brett and I did a show then. And uh, we're planning some new stuff coming on to the new year, uh, into the fall. I have been about to release some of the media work that I've done last year. So I have two mm -hmm. documentaries I'm about to release. One's on a sales coach, Kim Orleski, who you should have on your show. She's a brilliant woman, great sales coach. Another one is a uh, dentist uh, from Chestermere, Life Path Wellness, Dr. Jed Snatic. Mm -hmm. Another real guy making moves in the medical industry. Just aside from being a great dentist, the guy's got such great tenacity and vision for business. Uh, him and Kim are, are great, so I'll be releasing their stuff soon. So I've been doing my cannabis-infused dinners oh, yeah. uh, that have been going very well. Uh, yeah. This one was my best one yet. Sold out in four days. Oh wow! Yeah, it's good. It's an amazing event. I have mm -hmm. some chefs from Top Chef Canada oh, that yeah. will be be in the kitchen. I have professional servers, security. Um, it's going to be professionally decorated. It's going to be on a rooftop patio overlooking downtown, oh, wow. uh, the twenty thirtieth story building. So it's going to be quite cool. And then lastly, uh, yeah, I started a mountain guiding. Uh, company so called oh, Sunset wow. Hikes. Okay, and I'll be taking people on guided hikes myself and my uh, business partner, as well as a uh, combat coach Tim Blanchard from Alabanca Jiu Jitsu. Okay. So together, Tim and I are going to be taking people into the back country. So no Banff, no Kananaskis, no Canmore. We're going deep in mountains where people normally don't ever go, and okay. uh, it's going to be an armed hike. So we're going to have our compound bows with us. We'll be prepared with bear spray, um, plus our survival techniques and all the, we're both certified, we have insurance. It's a, you know, Tim's got another company called Uller Outfitters, so Tim is a, also a hunting guy. Okay. And uh, so I decided this is a perfect fit to yeah. try something different. Everybody wants to go in the outdoors. People are terrified of bears. Don't be scared of bears. They're more scared of us than we, than we should be of them. And um, you know, as long as you're you're conscientious of like there are apex predators in the wilderness, um, be mindful of when you're out there. Pick up your trash, especially your dog shit. Always just be mindful, man. Like you know, people aren't really prepared. I'll be in the mountains. I'll be on trails, and people got flip flops, Crocs, sandals, uh, running shoes. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Jeans, like you oh. know. So our job on these excursions on sunset hikes is to prepare you. Um, with all the basic hiking necessities, teaching you about from foot basic footwear, hydration, layers, how to read the weather. We're also going to be bringing our, um, our archery set, so we're going to be teaching people some bow hunting. We're also bringing oh, our nice. mitts. We're going to bring the pads and mitts and some pads. We're going to be teaching people some jujitsu and some Muay Thai. Oh, so nice. imagine like you just hike 10K, you're on top of a mountain, suddenly there's mats and like you're training on top of a mountain, you're learning combat. Right, you get back down to base. <laughs> yeah, you get back down to you base. You lost all your energy right up there. That yeah, you yeah. Know, come hey, by the way, energy. who's ready for more expenditure of energy? Yeah. Um, but then when we get back down the mountain, I'm going to have a one of my guest chefs preparing uh, an open fire dinner. Okay. So you come back down. Dinner's going to be prepared for you, be it like tenderloin or chicken or vegan, whatever it is you eat. Your mm -hmm. meal will be ready for you. It'll be hot and delicious. And then, yeah, we're going to take some people back into the city on a sprinter van safely. And uh, it's going to be a full day's experience, man, from just being in the mountains, hanging out, laughing, mm -hmm. uh, being protected and being educated on the safety of the mountains. And then, of course, at the same time, getting well fed mm -hmm. and uh, learning some new skills. So that's I'm excited about. So awesome. Yeah, man. So, when are you launching that? Uh, thank you. Uh, that is going to be Sunday, August 16th. It'll be the first one. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So, and how many guests are you able to take at a time? Good question. Um, we're, we'd are we like to keep it low, like six to eight, like, you know what I mean? Intimate. Mm -hmm. We don't want like a whole, you know, campsite kind of setting. Like, you know what I mean? Like yeah, a yeah. scout camp. Like, we want to keep it tight. want to keep it small. No more than 10. Yeah, and, that way uh, you can keep it track. Yeah, everybody. couples, 
I would love couples. Like, mm-hmm. just if it were all couples, that'd be the best. Correct. Um, but if not, like corporate, whatever, birthdays, you name it, man. And we're going to run this right up until November. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, we're going to offer some winter hikes, some snowshoeing adventures, some cross-country skiing. And then, of course, with my hunting, I do have my hunting license now. So I, too, would be participating on the hunts. Oh, okay. And uh, we'll have a full media team, which will be myself. But uh, we just picked up a new camera. Uh-uh. We got ourselves a new Sony. So I'll be documenting some of the experience of everybody. And so nice. keep your cell phones at home. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, like yeah. you're out hiking. Like, I'll take care of that for you. I'll take your video. I'll take your photos. And with the next day, they're all edited and chopped up and right in your email for you. So Awesome. That's awesome. what's up, brother. So it's like it's like a full trip. How long is the trip? Like, how long is the hike? Good question. Um, the hikes probably right now are looking about... I'm thinking anywhere between five to 12 kilometers and uh, depending on the fitness level of the people that are becoming. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping everyone that comes that first hike has got some endurance in them because Mm -hmm. the hike I do have in mind is about 20 kilometers return. So it's 10K there. So we have, yeah. So we'll do five, break for lunch, hydrate, talk about some survival stuff and all that jazz. And then we'll move our way on to the the finishing the hike where we'll then have lunch. Mm -hmm. And then we'll probably do some more stuff like some combat training and uh, probably teach you guys how, like, or probably teach the clients or the guests how to make fire and just the, just, just the basic stuff, like how to read the weather and how to de-layer, you know, just, yes. you know, how's your footwear holding just up, you survival. know what I mean? Just basic survival, like, did you bring an extra pair of socks and this is why? Like, some stuff that seems rudimentary, mm-hmm. but in the moment, ah, yeah. right? But do you have a, do you have a list for guests to actually We call? will. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have a little bit of a, a little homework for them to do, to study up on and be prepared, but it's like glamping. It's the Airbnb mm-hmm. of camping, right? You just ba- Or hiking. Like, you're just basically showing up with a bag, you drop your car off, take you in a sprinter van, have the experience, take you back, drive home safely. Um, we are going to be doing for weekends, too. So, we okay. have all the, the gear for camping. And and how often are you guys going to be taking I'm camp? hoping, like, if I ain't on stage, if I'm not working on media and I'm mm-hmm. not getting people... Um, infused at my dinners, then definitely I would love to be in the mountains every chance I have. So Okay, so you guys are going to be off there often? Often as I can be. Yeah, okay. often as okay. I can be. Okay. And it's funny awesome. too, because as a mechanic, as a great mechanic as you are, I mean, how many times have people just come in and you're like, when's the last time you got your oil checked, right? Like, mm-hmm. be serious, let's be serious. Yeah, yeah. When's the last time you put air in your tires? Like, the simplest things for car maintenance. Definitely. People are the same way hiking. You know what I mean? Like, why would you wear flip flops up a thousand foot mountain? Like, <laughs> like you know, where's your booze? How are you not? You know, things that would just seem normal, mm-hmm. like getting your oil changed. People yeah. literally don't have the common sense just to, you know, to be able to do something. to be prepared and do yeah, something. Exactly. Yeah. So, and then you, you're like, and you, that's one thing I like. We use mechanic. You educate. Yeah. You educate your clients. I know that.